Hey guys, Chris back. Iron Hit Garage. What is this? Part three of the wiring. Well, we're getting something done. I'm on to that J now. And I made this wire here. You got the friction tape on it. Got the grommet on there. Got the ends into the plug-in. And it goes. And this goes to the mega fuse. All shrink wrapped. And then this goes to the starter. That in all shrink wrap and taped up. Yeah, that friction tape makes it look pretty darn good. Old school style. So there's that piece there. Plugs in underneath the dash. Goes up to the mega fuse. And then to the other side of the starter. The S side. Or the, yes, the S side. So we're going to put that on. I got a grommet hole up there. Tried the grommet, plugs in the good into the firewall. It plugs into this guy there if you can see it. So let's get that uh, plugged in. There's the hole back there behind the distributor. So those wires will come out and then go down towards the transmission. Around to the starter. Alright. We plug them babies in. All right, made another pigtail. That one plugs in underneath the dash, and that side goes to the ballast resistor, and that one's the tack wire. Yeah, hooking this one up, man, I could put the battery in and she will roll over. But we'll give it a little bit of time. I'm gonna finish up this other wiring, but that would be kind of cool. All right, guys, back on it. Well, I got that wire coming from the main harness inside, coming through the firewall above the other one. So it comes in through the, the firewall, goes to the ballast resistor, and then the other wire was the tack wire, goes to the positive side of the coil. And I actually uh, redid this wire from the ballast resistor over to the positive side of the coil and actually did some clamps on here and a clamp there it looks pretty clean I think yeah we're we'll messing around with this a little bit more get them straightened out but it's pretty clean looking nice and black lucky I know where all these wires go somebody else might get a little confused but ah piece of cake just gotta follow which way they go so uh, need to get my wires on here for my motor I need to set the timing again because I moved the motor over and my distributor wasn't tight. So we'll set that at 8 degrees, top dead center. Roll over, get that uh, air to burst out of the top of that center and crank her up. But before that, I think I'm going to start running this uh, front wire. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm going to dig it all out of the bag and uh, we'll get it done. I think I'm going to do the headlight bucket ones first. Take the headlights out and get them pigtails coming out. Get these uh, marker lights pigtailed up and see where she comes from there. All right, guys. I'm back on it. All right, got her hood down. So the next step on this uh, journey is to put the headlight bucket assemblies in. The harness. It's got the nice uh, jacket on them and all the plugs ready to go. So I'm going to pull them rings, headlight rings off of there and pop that glass out and stick them through from the inside and put the headlights back in and see what it looks like. Alright. Got the front end back open. Had the headlights out, put them back in. Quick little job. Got the loom coming out of the headlights, buckets. Yeah, nice rubber grommet. Got the plug on the end. And I gotta ground these both. Comes with a ground. We might have to loop these together because I don't think just grounding it to my front end is gonna work. So we're gonna have to loop that together and uh, ground it to the main frame somehow. But I got the front wiring harness kit out now. I said to do this part for the parking lights next, but you gotta solder the little. Um, brass ends on there on the, these guys feed the wires through put the little rubber boots on but first you got to do the harness 
So we got this harness out. Letter L. And it looks pretty simple. Comes with a big giant wad of wires. About a pound. So there's our plug in underneath the dash. So we're gonna weasel that through one of the holes or make a new hole or something. And then start lacing all these wires. Green, green, tan, brown, blue, yeah, lots of wires to go. Alright, I'm gonna get on that and see how it comes out. Well, I've been lacing these front headlight wires. And they, they're gonna come out of that uh, grommet hole when I get a grommet there. And then they'll go back behind there. There's a little, you can see a little clamp. Then I'm gonna run them on the inside of the frame. You see them dangling back there. I'm gonna clamp them real nice and then tape them up. Then they'll go right underneath the steering box. I'll make them all nice and tidy. Maybe right through that steering box if you can see or not. Hard to see in there. There's a little space in between the frame and the steering box. I did get the one marker light, parking light hooked up. Had to make an inline splice here. So there's a left and a right. And then the brown there, you got to loop off of one side and go over to the other side. Same with the headlight. Got to do the same there. Uh, hook the green. Here's the headlight wires. High beam, low beam. You hook high beam and low beam to here. Then you jump off high beam and low beam. And then go over to the other side. So I'm going to fasten it here with these little clamps. I'm going to get it all taped up and get the correct size. These are half inch. But uh, they might work. So I'll see. And I'll have those little clamps on there. Then I'll run on the inside. I might put it on the bottom. We'll see how close this is to the radiator when I shut it. And it'll go across. And up there. And over there the parking light. And then the headlight wires will run on that same channel. So it might get kind of fat. I might loop this around and run this across the bottom of my tilt front end structure with them uh, nice little Earl clamps. And I'll put a few of them on here and tap it and put them button head Allen bolts on it. I did keep the, the electric fan wire. I'm just going to shrink wrap it up just in case I ever want an electric fan on this thing. I don't think so though. And uh, here's the horn wire. I'm going to run the horn wire up here. And if I'll probably put my horns, I'm not sure yet, maybe up here in the fenders or, or maybe on the back side of the radiator support. I don't have horns for it, but uh, we might just wait on that wire until I get some horns. So not too bad she's coming along got my soldering iron out here been doing a little soldering i started using zip ties to mock this up and i thought man i'm gonna use a lot of zip ties might need them later on so i just put little pieces of duct tape on there to hold the wire for now so i'm gonna get on uh soldering up this marker light parking light it takes these little guys here you got to poke that wire Put the boot on, put this boot on first, or the sleeve, and then the boot. Then you poke the wire through this guy, it's got little springs in there. Probably done this before maybe. But then it comes with these little itty bitty tabs here. You gotta clip off with a pair of dikes. Do a little focus in. Yeah, they're pretty small. Pretty small to even hold on to, and you crimp them on there, and then solder them up. And then that's what the headlight goes to or the the bulb uh, connection goes to so I'm gonna get over there and start on that parking light see how it goes and then on to the headlights and then I'll bring you guys back all right I got most of that front end all wired up there it all is goes up the bar headlights wired up goes across I got it all just taped on here goes across over there so the looms are equal on each side don't look too bad once I get it all taped up and fastened on I got a ground wire here I got the the horn wire 
that's the electric fan there's the horn wire the green one I'm just gonna coil that up and uh, probably leave it as long as that a uh, little bit longer than that fan wire and leave it sticking up here till I get some horns but yeah I need to find me a, a five-way plug so I can unplug this I'm gonna put a plug right here somewhere so if I ever want to take my motor out or something I can just pull this whole tilt nose off and I'll probably hook some kind of a spring we'll see when I get it all uh, wrapped up and close it and see what this does I might have to hook a little spring here so that wire don't hang down it's not too long and I can pull it back a little bit through the firewall so we'll see how it shuts when I get it all taped up I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to find this grommet here, measure it up, see if I can get a big one. So, we'll make this video. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been over here burning the midnight oil. Yeah, it's pretty fun working on the old 55, knowing she's going to come alive pretty soon. So, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care. Be safe out there. Till next time.